I'm the Smelly Belly Mom, also known as Tara. And last time we were here, I jumped into shark infested waters and I'm gonna do it again today. Jellyfish infested water. Jellyfish infested water. We out of here! Ah! Ooh, we got popsicles, minion for Jayla. I want my Ada, you want your SpongeBob one now or later? Later. <laughs> Why are you so dramatic? Rory, mm, you want yours? Yeah. Oh. oh no! <laughs> he laughed so easily, you both. And a SpongeBob for me! Okay, Jayla's solution. Um, oh. Let's see how long this lasts <laughs> before it falls into her lap. <laughs> what do you think about them jellyfish? You scared of them? No. We think they're water jellyfish. They are they water said jellyfish. That they don't do any hard. Today we're on the deeper end of Crab Island. We have discovered lots of lots of jellyfish. Knowing us, we'll probably get stung. I mean, yesterday we were playing with sand fleas. That was fun. Yeah. Babe, that ain't no crab. Look at that thing. That thing is freaky. What is oh that? My gosh. What is it? We found out that these pack a light sting. If you get stung by them, it's not the end of the world, so we're gonna take our chances, but don't recommend that you do because you're not professionals like us. Just kidding. Instead of being in shark infested waters, you're in seaweed infested oh, waters. Oh, so disgusting, get me out of here! <laughs> ah! All right, we're officially moving out because Tara spotted a giant jellyfish. Here's what it looked like. I think we've spotted a sea turtle, you guys. We're gonna try to get the GoPro in the water. Or is that a stingray? It might be a stingray. I can't tell what it is. It's a stingray. It's a giant stingray. Get the GoPro in. I'm trying to. The, the GoPro's, GoPro's failing down. us, no! We all just thought <laughs> we caught the most amazing thing on camera. We thought we caught a big stingray. We look back at the footage. It's a black bag. It was a black bag. So maybe one of us should jump in and get it because maybe there's like some treasure in there. It looks like the food bags that they give you here. It's the oh. bags that they give you your food, and it was very, it was like those. That's kind of sad. You know. Pick up your trash, people. Yeah. We have to move spots because we got stung by jellyfish. Tara is officially stung. This is Twice. your first time, right? My first time, yeah. So I got stung in two spots: one on my butt cheek, and then like right here on the you side. You see the red mark right there? It feels like. This jellyfish, I don't know what kind like. kind it was, but it feels more of like a, um, it's definitely a sting, like that itchy, yeah, like, burning like, feeling. I, 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 feel I, like, yeah, um, I, think, I think Ada got stung too. She has a little spot. Oh yeah. And it burns. And it burns, yeah. But it's not like unbearable, it's just annoying. What does it feel like? Like you like, wanna keep scratching it to relieve it. Like a, it like almost like a small burn. Like, does it feel like a sunburn? It feels like when you have a cut and you go in the salt water. Oh, water. stingy. Kinda, sting, like, definitely yeah. stingy, yeah. yeah I guess and it'll like, It'll start to feel good and then it like intensifies. That's why they call it a jellyfish sting because well, it yep, stings. It actually stings. But it's not an actual stinger. No. It's like a tentacle. But it, the feeling is definitely stinky. Rory and I are going to go and find lots of hermit crabs. We know a spot. You ready to go, Ro? Sure, if I want. Yeah, we got one. We're going to get like 20. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> What's wrong? I like the bottom. <laughs> when we're on the river, you do just fine. Yeah, but this is so and gross. That water, that. That water is even more gross. Oh, this is the different. The water's gross and the si the sand is like mud. Yeah, but that feels good. All right, are you gonna let go now? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're here. This is one of the best spots Cute. to come and find hermit crabs. Something's moving down there and I'm not sure what it is. Ada already found one. We're gonna find so many out here. Right there. Okay, yep, there's, there's one. Pick them up, bro. Another one. All right, guys, look at how many. You could just literally come and pick them up off the shore here. Wait, I don't wanna pick them I'm up. I'm pretty sure this is where they get the uh, crabs when they're putting, selling them in the store. They just come to this area because you can find so many. Right there, bro.
everywhere. Rory, look at this one. Put them in. We'll see if we can find one with like the most beautiful shell. We'll me. rate them. We're gonna find them and rate them. Usually these logs can be a pretty decent place to find them because they like to attach to them. Like look at all these snails right here. Those are like some sort of snail. Look at all these. Let's pick it up. Let's see what we got. No, I think this is a hermit crab. This is a baby hermit crab right here. No, that's a snail. Oh, there he's coming out. I don't trust snails. Put him back. Ooh, he's slimy. Ugh. Are you guys coming? <laughs> Ada's too scared to get in the water here. How many hermit crabs do we have so far? I got this big one right here. One, two, three, four. Are those little two, shells? Three, four, are those, five, six, seven, are those hermit eight. crabs in there? Yeah, are those, those are hermit crabs. Okay, we got like eight of them. I just found probably the biggest one we've seen so far. Look at the size of this guy. Look at him. All right, look at how tiny this one is, but we're gonna leave him because he's too small. We don't want him to get hurt, hurt in his adventure. Look, Dad, put him by the sand. Oh, there, there's another one right there. Now he's got a buddy. We can show up all of our hermit crabs that we have. So, ah! He just ran away. You didn't get a good view at them, so this is some of the ones that we got. We got this big boy. This big boy. This right big boy. Um, and then we got some littles. This is a medium boy. Medium boy. Small medium boy. Small. Tiny medium boy. Extra small medium boy. <laughs> uh, medium small. Extra small small medium boy. Small small medium boy. Okay, there's too many to go through, but basically they're all medium small boys. And yes, the camera's upside down. Hello. All right, I ran and got the GoPro because we're finding some pretty interesting things. So far, we've seen a baby shark. And I don't think that's a sand flea. Let's get a close look at it, though. Found another one. What'd you find? Oh, that's a pretty cool one. We're walking back. Pretty much walked until there was no more land left. Guys, right, so they're finally coming back. So oh, two of your crabs escaped the boat. Are you serious? Me and Jayla weren't very good babysitters. Oh, you guys are terrible. We tried to feed them bread, but they ran away. You did? You tried? Oh, <laughs> oh there's one right there! So I was oh, no. thinking, okay, because I was like picking up these bottle caps and you know, I had a thought. Okay, oh goodness. You know how like there's all this trash in the ocean and all that stuff? Yeah. How easy would it be if we just had a national trash day for people who live by the ocean? If you live like 30 minutes away, like you just drive to the beach and everybody picks up trash for like an hour. You need more than one day for that. I just found yeah, but if you do it every year, you need like year. trash in a month. If you do it every year, I bet you our beaches. Or would be how about so this? Clean. Don't leave your trash behind, and if you see trash, pick it up. So we are gonna try to find the best-looking hermit crab, and then we're gonna release them back into the ocean. So here's the load we have. The I hall. Like this <laughs> We've got a hermit crab haul. This is a sand flea. I Look at all of them crawling everywhere. I think this is a sand flea. Look, look, look at that little baby one in like that weird-looking shell, like this one right here. Look at that shell. Look, Let me see. Oh wow. Okay, I think. That that is my favorite one. The white with the purple. What's your favorite, Ada? This one. This one? You, you. Right here? And Rory, which one's your favorite? These three. These three, those are my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna put them back in the water. Hey, no, 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 let's All right. let them plop in themselves. We're gonna put them back in the water. No, let's do a race into the water. Do you water. guys think we should bring them up closer to the shore or do you guys, think they'll gonna, be good here? No, we're gonna do a race. We're gonna do we're a gonna race. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do a hermit crab race. <laughs> That one's going the wrong this way. This one's going the wrong way. He's like, come take me. Come take me. I want to go with you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll take you. Well, we can't. We don't have a spot for that. Oh, 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 oh that one's going. Suckers. He's free. <laughs> and we're going to set these hermit crabs free and get back going. We got a dinner reservation we got to make it to. And Tara tells me that it's really good. So let's go. There's a laugh attack. What the heck is going on? So Ada goes, I'm gonna change the password on Rory's phone to make her angry and watch her. It'll be funny. And then Rory opens her phone and Rory opens her phone and uses face ID anyways. That's what you get, Ada, for being a lucky sucker. Let's see the fancy dinner fits. We got the mom and daughter. 
Bitch. And other daughter. And other, where'd she go? And then missing daughter. Bitch. We gotta get you. Oh, you're wearing the same thing you wore the other night to dinner. Yeah, because <laughs> I like it so much. They rolled out the blue carpet for a couple of princesses. <laughs> Sorry. I know that was cringe. <laughs> we're making decisions. All right, so we're thinking about shrimp cocktail, right? We're definitely doing and that. And we're going to do the crab cakes? I think so. There's nothing on the appetizer list for really for Ada Bear. She doesn't like seafood, and it's all seafood. Yeah, she's so. not a big seafood fan. But she did find something in the entrees, so we're, we want to try. <laughs> so far, how has been your experience at this five-star dining like, experience? How has been my experience? At the, yeah, the five-star dining experience. Thumbs up. Ada, how was your experience been so far? I think terrifying. Do you like the brand? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jayla. <laughs> Just kidding. How has your experience been so far? Normal. What does normal mean? Okay, so you're used to this experience every day? Yeah. How have you been enjoying your vacation? Have you liked your time off of work? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to go back to school and work? No. <laughs> don't need to talk about that. I don't know. Get that. Rory, how has your experience been so far at this five star restaurant? Good? <laughs> What would you rather have, chicken fingers or fish fingers? Fish fingers. <laughs> fish fingers. Yeah, I'm surrounded by too many girls. They're starting to argue, and I just feel like. No, I do have one complaint. They could remove this spotlight that's in our eyes. Thank you. That's true. I mean, that is pretty bright. Look at that sucker. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you five shrimp and enough cocktail sauce to drown anything. We are back, we are back at the room. Where'd Tara go? We have Tara no go? lights in here. We have no lights. Is the power off in here? No, these outlets are not working. None of our cool. outlets are working, you guys. We, we have a no power light. issue, we have no light. We can't figure out power, but we do got dessert. Oh, that bread pudding looks good. Oh. Is that the bread pudding I was right waiting there? to look at it with you. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Sorry, what the heck are you doing? What is that bowl for? She's doing the strawberry bug thing with the salt water. Oh, to enough. see if it's actually true yeah. or not. Okay. <laughs> salt it up, salt it up. Here bad. are the strawberries in question. We're gonna put these bad boys in and see if there are bugs in them. So we got all of our salt in here. We had to add quite a bit. And then the next step is putting in our strawberries. No, we need to mix to it. To see if we get any bugs. We need to mix it and then put our strawberries. I have mixed reviews on this because I've tried it and didn't see any bugs. But Tara's saying that she has seen bugs, right? You've yeah. seen bugs? Okay. Why does it have a stem? Look at the stem on that sucker. <laughs> all right, what do we got? No bugs yet. All right, we'll give that a few minutes. Why not just eat the bugs? I mean, more protein, right? No. No, I know, it's disgusting to think about. That's cool. Well, these bugs are definitely gonna die with the amount of salt you just put on there. Yep, Jeez. that's the whole point. That's the whole point? Kill the bugs with uh, Himalayan pink salt. I was wondering why I was making it pink. That just looks disgusting. Are you making strawberry lemonade? It's kind of what it looks like. It kind of looks like a bunch of turds floating around in a toilet. <laughs> it does. It's supposed to be like this pudding texture. Oh, Like airy okay. and like, oh, I want the recipe. So this is the best bread pudding you've ever had or This no? is just how my best friend's grandma used to make it. Okay, so compare that to like where we usually get it from. Which one's better? Mm. This is better this than, is that's better than fish camp bread pudding. This is how I get it like way better. At home in Louisiana, this is how all the old, old grandmas make it. It's mm. like just like this. This is how you gotta do it. It's almost like it's been soaking all yeah. day. Look See how it's like this. pudding. That's like pudding texture, yeah, but it's, it's just bread. Like pudding. Yeah. It, do they do it with old stale bread? Yeah, you're supposed to. But so you that way you can like make dessert with. No, yeah, yeah, is that how it, bread. That, yeah. That's it how also, it came about. Yeah, pretty like, soaking. The point it. is you soak it, so then like if you use regular plastic bread, it'll get extra soggy. But mm. if you use like a other. Like stale know, bread. Supposed to rehydrate it and repurpose it is the point of yeah, it. Yeah, you um, repurpose it as long as it doesn't got mold on it. I mean, no. No, I'm kidding. I gotta <laughs> tell something. You gotta tell something? Oh, hang on, I'm eating. So, Jill got this chocolate cake, right? And if you don't know, me and Jill yeah. literally. <laughs> me and Jill. What? You see bugs? No, I accidentally threw this chocolate cake. Oh, 
try it today and I was like this. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, what are you saying about the chocolate cake? So, I'm getting frustrated. Me and Jayla. <laughs> Rory, I'm in the story here. Oh my so, God. me Welcome and Jayla. Welcome to our life. So, <laughs> cut the camera, cut the camera. Oh my gosh, Rory, did you just, just, just fart? Yeah. It's not funny. All right. Just cut the camera, let me restart. Okay, <laughs> refresher. So we got this chocolate cake, and me and Jayla hate that dark chocolate, and Jayla goes, mmm, look how good this cake looks. And I go, it's probably dark chocolate. She goes, why'd you have to ruin it for me? So then she takes a bite of it, she goes, oh, it's not dark chocolate, loser. And then I see her like two seconds later, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so finally we are going to check and see if these bugs have come out. And I'm going to say that's a no. There's no bugs in these yeah. strawberries, but we'll let them sit a little while longer. It takes like a day. No, it doesn't. It doesn't take a day. All right, you guys, we're going to be calling it a night here because I'm getting tired. But I still kind of want to go down to the pool, so I might do that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And remember, we post new videos every single week for you to enjoy. And remember to do one thing. Eat your pickles, kids. Bye.